Hey, my name is Eric with Fleming Outdoors, and we're on day 18 of our incubation process. And today, we're going to remove the eggs from the egg turner, and we're also going to increase our humidity level. First thing we want to do is remove the top off our incubator. Since our egg turner is have our eggs at an angle, what I'm going to do is remove the eggs individually and place them in this tray. And then we will remove the egg turner. And then at that point, we can place the eggs on the wire rack at the bottom of the egg turner. I've washed my hands so the eggs will not get any oil from my hands. I washed them and dried them real well. Once I have all the eggs removed, we will also increase our humidity level during the first 18 days, <clears throat> our humidity level was between 45 and 55 percent. We maintain that by keeping water in the trough that's labeled number one. And then once we have the eggs removed, what we'll do is we'll increase our humidity level by 10 percent. In doing so, all we have to do is fill up the water trough labeled trough number two. Now that all the eggs have been removed from the egg turner, I'm going to remove the egg turner from the incubator. If you notice, the egg turner was at a pretty sharp angle. That's why I did not remove uh, the eggs in the egg turner. I took them out individually and placed them in an egg tray. Now that we have removed our egg turner, This will give me time to show you. To increase the humidity, uh, we've had water in trough number one. Uh, to increase it by 10%, we recommend putting in a trough number one and also trough number two. What this does is it'll increase our humidity from 45 to 55% to 55 to 65%. Uh, in doing so, basically, I just get a glass of water. Fill up trough number one, or fill up trough number two. And during the incubation process, I generally had to fill trough number one up probably about, uh, about every two to three days. Now that we have the water in, you'll notice our wire rack. What we're going to do is we're going to lay the eggs on their natural unsupported position for the last three days and what we'll do is we'll monitor our eggs for the next three days and we'll try to get some good video footage of the chicks peeping out And hopefully this video will give our audience a basic understanding of, of the incubation process and how it works. And hopefully it can help you out with a good successful hatch rate. We're hoping all of our chicks hatch, but as many times uh, that's not always the case. That's why we got a good many eggs. So my little boy will have plenty of opportunity in having some baby chicks. Then once we once we get them hatched, we have uh, another video on brooding. And in that video, what we'll do is we'll kind of give you two different options. Uh, we have a brooder for a little bit more of a large scale operation. Uh, we have it already put together and ready to go. And then we also will uh, uh, have a heat lamp and, uh, and a water tank. And that'll give you another option uh, at brooding your chicks. Uh, but we'll be back uh, here in probably a couple days as soon as they start hatching. 
and hopefully we'll get some good video footage on that and we appreciate you watching our video